Hey, Flimsy Lunch Trader here, and welcome to our Saturday edition video, where today we're going to be looking at the Tier 10 Holland European Destroyer. Uh, this destroyer is quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, tech tree destroyers to play in the game, um, just because she has a lot going for her. Uh, she's a little bit different than the typical tech tree destroyer, I would say. Um, and we'll kind of discuss and highlight why that is. So well, first, we're going to talk about the armor. Uh, we'll look at the modules, upgrades, consumables, and most importantly, the commander. So armor, it's standard. You got the 19 millimeter uh, across uh, the hull of the ship, and then your 13 millimeter plating. So there's nothing um, different there than your standard uh, destroyers, tech tree destroyers, at least in that regard. Looking at the modules. Oh. I forgot one thing, didn't I? Um, and that is, uh, what type of destroyer uh, is Holland? Uh, well, Holland, um, she has great guns. Her torpedoes, I think, are pretty, like really good. Um, so that pretty much lands her in the category of a hybrid destroyer. So you have torpedo destroyers, uh, gunboat destroyers, and hybrid destroyers. Holland is a hybrid destroyer. You could build more into her guns, making her lean a little bit more towards being a gun uh, destroyer. But there's a reason why I don't think that works out so well with Holland, and I'll highlight that here in a minute. Um, but I would argue she leaves a hybrid destroyer that leans a little bit more towards a torpedo destroyer. Um, just because of these uh, wicked uh, two, uh, was it quintuple? Uh, two sets of five uh, torpedoes that are 583 millimeter. Uh, that can just uh, cause a lot of havoc uh, on the enemy team, even if they don't do a lot of damage to poor torpedo hit. So she's a hybrid destroyer, okay? Um, guns. Reload time. She got 2x2, 120mm guns, so she's got four with these 120mm guns in total. Uh, two second reload time, and with how we have it set right now, we're going to get that down a little bit lower. 180 degree turn time of 7.2, and you can see the HE and AP shell damage characteristics there below. Her hull, um, even with survivability expert, uh, she's on the uh, lower health pool uh, side of things in terms of comparison of other tier 10 tech tree destroyers. Uh, even with survivability expert, we're at 22,700. Um, so she's not necessarily in the middle or the higher uh, type destroyer known for a larger health pool, but she has a smaller health pool. So you have to be mindful of that, but that's a little bit offset with the heels. The torpedoes. These torpedoes, um, with Holland, I have geared her more towards being a torpedo type hybrid destroyer. Uh, we are down to a 76.5 second reload. Um, when you have Adrenaline Rush kicking in, and if you activate Jersey Shwerski's talents, which I'll talk about, uh, you can get that down underneath a minute uh, easily um, in the 50 second range. Her torpedo range is actually really good, it's 15 kilometers. Uh, maximum damage 10,700. So when you have battleships or battle cruisers in a game that have really strong torpedo belts, um, you're not going to be doing that 10,700 damage. You could be doing 7k, 6k per torpedo hit. Um, it just depends on what the torpedo belt uh, protection or deduction that these uh, destroyers and heavier cruisers have in the game. Uh, some of, of course, your other cruisers have them in the game as well. But I highlight the heavy cruisers, battle cruisers battleships because they're known for having a lot of torpedo uh, protection. And also in building with the torpedoes, we're up to 95 knots. So uh, these are some of the fastest torpedoes in the game um, on a destroyer. So the reaction time an enemy team player has to try to dodge them is really limited um, because of uh, these torpedoes. Uh, why the Holland doesn't lean so much into the gunboat destroyer of hybrid category is because of her gun range, okay? Right now, uh, we could build this out further, but it's 10.5 kilometers. Um, so there's a positive and a con with this. Positive is, let's say you're having a destroyer on destroyer engagement. You kill the other destroyer. His buddies are 11 kilometers or further away. You instantly go dark um, after killing... Um, that destroyer or let's say it's a marine uh, dives and then you go dark so that's nice um 
Of course, the con is you're not going to be able to hit targets further than 10.5 kilometers out. Um, so you don't really play that gunboat role uh, really well unless you go for more of the gun range. Uh, but that sometimes means you're giving up, uh, I think, some of the more key characteristics of Holland when you start going down that road and what you have to give up uh, in terms of upgrades and commander skill points. Propulsion, uh, 35 knots. Um, she's not known to be a fast destroyer at uh, tier 10. Um, but this is offset when you take the Sierra Mike flag, which I don't know if I have mounted. Now we have it mounted. So it gets us up to 36.8 knots. And then we also have the engine boost. So that really comes in handy, but she's not a fast tier 10 destroyer by any means. She's just kind of, she's there. Um, yeah. So upgrades. Uh, first slot, I'm going to recommend you take the main armament modification one. And it looks like there's, uh, ooh, there's a bit of a sale going on with the upgrades in the army right now. So we'll definitely take advantage of that. Uh, I definitely will be. <laughs> but main armament modification one, um, it reduces the risk of our main battery and torpedo tubes from becoming incapacitated by negative 20%. Our main battery and torpedo tube survivability goes up by plus 50%, and the repair time if the main battery or torpedo tube should become incapacitated is reduced by negative 20%. So really this is the cream of the crop that you want here for the first slot with Holland, um, just because her guns are powerful, her torpedoes are powerful. Uh, they don't hit hard, but they're still powerful. Uh, you also have Auxiliary Armaments Modification 1. You don't have a secondary battery on the Holland. Um, you could increase that AA uh, mount survivability, but again, keep the guns and the torpedoes in action because you might not always come across uh, a carrier in the game. Magazine Modification 1 reduces the risk of your ship's magazine detonating by negative 70%. But if you've been around on the channel long enough, I'm always going to recommend you take Julie Charlie Combat Signal uh, which completely eliminates the risk of a ship's magazine detonating, especially if you want to run this in ranked random clan battles. Um, because it's really important because you can more easily get detonated as a destroyer. Um, like I featured detonating a Ragnar with Holland yesterday, and I talked a little bit about the importance of that. Slot two, um, your two standard upgrades. Um, you have the damage control system modification one, risk of catching fire, negative 5%, risk of flooding, negative 3%. Um, if you're just going for the standard um, upgrade here in the slot two, I'm going to recommend engine room protection. This is what I ran at first with Holland. It reduces the risk of your engine and your steering gear from becoming incapacitated and also increases or decreases the repair time uh, of your engine or steering gears if they do get knocked out. Um, but what I've done is I've taken the special upgrade, uh, increases the action time of the engine boost and emergency engine power consumables. It's the engine boost modification one. So this uh, increases our action time of the engine boost, which has been very helpful, um, plus 8%. And it gets us up to 156 seconds um, of action time. Probably standard, I'm guessing it'd be around that 120 second range. Uh, so having the additional time is really helpful when you're moving around the map because, again, Holland's not known for her speed necessarily. You also have the Defensive A Fire Modification 1, uh, Consumable Action Time plus 20%, Consumable Reload Time negative 10%. Um, you're not always going to have carriers in the game, um, so that's kind of why I lean more towards the Engine Boost Modification 1. Um, now this is can be very useful, especially in those double CV matches, but they don't always happen all the time. Um, and Holland can hold her own against tier 10 CVs, uh, tier 8 CVs playing. She'll definitely be knocking out of the air, and you would have seen that in yesterday's battle if you uh, caught me featuring the Holland. Um, but if you're wondering where to pick these up, you can simply click on the icon, and it's going to take you into the armory, and you can purchase it for 17,000 coal. Uh, but if you use a coupon, uh, mine's yet to be set, this one here, 25% off, you can pick them up for 12,500 coal. So I wish I used that coupon once every uh, cycle, um, even if I'm not sure what I'm gonna pick up, just because that coupon helps you save on coal. 
Slot three, you have the main battery modification two, uh, main battery reverse speed plus 15%. We kind of talked about the 180 degree turn time already. It's 7.2 seconds, so you really don't need that. Um, you have the AA guns modification one. This reduces the priority AA sector preparation time. Um, I'm probably, I'll talk about an AA build Holland, so I'll, maybe I'll circle back to this. Aiming systems modification one, um, this um, reduces your maximum main battery shell dispersion. So your main battery is more likely to land where you're aiming at. You get a buff to your torpedo tube traverse speed by plus 20% and you get some secondary battery perks, but again, you don't have secondary batteries on the Holland. And then you have torpedo tubes modification one, and this is what I run. Mainly the reason, there's two reasons I run this. It gets the torpedo speed up by plus 5%. And then the second reason why I like running this skill is it reduces the risk of the torpedo tubes from becoming incapacitated by negative 40%. And that's gonna carry over into the sixth slot upgrade, and I'll talk about that. Um, and then you also get the torpedo tube traverse speed plus 20%, like you would have gotten here at the aiming systems modification one. So um, I want these torpedoes to be as fast as possible because you can catch a lot of people off guard with how fast they hit and little reaction time. So that's why I'm running that here on Holland. Uh, if you don't want to run this, the second uh, option I would say would be this, just for that main battery um, shell dispersion buff. But uh, I think you'd be missing out with the torpedo tubes modification one to get them up to help get them up to the 95 knots that they are right now with this build. For the fourth slot, uh, I would recommend the propulsion modification one. Time taken to reach full engine power when accelerating negative 50 percent. So when you are engaging with the destroyers, like you saw me take on um, the daring in yesterday's video, uh, I was trying to do some juking there. Um, when you need to avoid some drops from an aircraft carrier player coming in, uh, this also helps you be able to maybe slow down or speed up. So I tend to run this across all my destroyers. You arguably also have the steering gears modification one, which reduces your rudder shift time by negative 20%. Right now, our rudder shift time is 4.3 seconds. To me, that's not a big deal. Um, I can live with it. It's not uh, inhibited me in any way. Um, there's other destroyers that have way worse rudder shift than what you have here in Holland. And I think the rudder shift time is good um, here in Holland. I don't think it's bad by any means, it's good. Um, you also have damage control system modification too. This is something you see in battleships and cruisers, heavy cruisers, don't take this. You have depth charge modification, number of charges plus two. Uh, right now we would we have eight uh, per charge. And you are not guaranteed to always see submarines and Wargaming is still changing submarines constantly. So um, this by far I think is the best. And then second, I could see running this. For the slot five, um, you have torpedo lookout system. Um, no, you don't need this. What you, I would argue if you need the most is the concealment system modification one. Uh, right now, this video I'm recording is update 11.5. Um, with the camouflage, um, we are down to six kilometers. Um, starting in update 11.6, which should be happening in a few weeks from now, um, basically, uh, your camouflage, um, as is now, uh, your camouflage adds this negative 3% uh, detectability range by sea, um, and dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship plus 4%. Um, with update 1.6, with the economy and camouflage changes Wargaming's doing, um, they're going to we'll go ahead and bake in the negative 3% in all ships uh, here in World of Warships. And then they're just um, doing away with that plus 4% dispersion, okay? But for now, this is update 11.5. So you run this camouflage to get down uh, to that six kilometer because we also have concealment expert on our commander. And this is really competitive um, at tier 10, in my opinion. Um, of course, you have some other destroyers that can be 5.9, 5.8, 5.7, and 5.6, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but then you also have a large number of destroyers that are 6.1 and higher, like all the way up to 7.5 or, you know, if people are foregoing concealment on the, some of the gunboat, like Russian destroyers, uh, 
you know, that could boom up to eight or maybe over eight kilometers for them. So there's a small mini cruiser. So six kilometers is very competitive um, here at uh, tier 10. And so this is by far what I would recommend taking. Um, I don't recommend taking the steering gears modification two or the ship consumables modification one. Um, getting in closer for these 95 knot torpedoes, your chances of landing them is a lot better uh, than not having the concealment, and especially when you need to go dark. So this is what you want. Slot six, you have the main battery modification three. Uh, this improves your main battery reload time by negative 12%. Um, so basically we would be getting our guns down to, from two seconds, uh, to, I think I have it in my head, but I'm going to check because I'm not known for my math skills. Yeah, you would be 1.76. Yeah, something like that. Um, so just underneath 1.8 seconds, but closer to 1.8. Um, but it comes at the cost of your main battery traverse speed, a negative 13%, which isn't a big deal. Um, so if you were going to go for a more gunboat route, per se, on Holland, uh, yeah, this would be good. But again, I'm going to encourage you to go the torpedo tube uh, modification too. Go the torpedo build route. Um, I don't like building all my destroyers, especially the tier 10 ones, a copy and paste of one another. I want them to play in their own roles differently from one another, right? So for example, with Holland, well, I could take the Friesland or the Groningen as my high tier gunboat destroyer, right? Um, these destroyers do that role really well, um, but they give up torpedoes. I could take um, a my Marcel, uh, you could take Kleber, you could take the Delny, um, you could take um, the, tier, the other tier 10 Russian destroyer. Um, where you have Havrosk, the premium, but then was it the Grozovoy? Um, so there's other destroyers that play that gunboat uh, line really well. So really invest in the torpedoes um, because with this, our reload time drops down negative 15%. So that's what's helping get us to that 76.5 second reload time on the torpedoes. Um, but then we have this uh, nerf, if you, if you will. Risk of torpedo tubes becoming incapacitated plus 50%, okay? So we offset that plus 50%. We take, let's say, imagine 40% out of that um, because of taking the torpedo tubes modification one in slot three. So in reality, between these two, uh, we're only adding 10%, plus 10% of risk of torpedo tubes becoming incapacitated. So these two skills uh, work, uh, or skills these upgrades work really well in combination together you have gun control fire system modification two. this extends your main battery range and then you also have this auxiliary armaments modification two. um ignoring the secondary battery but your continuous AA damage goes up our damage from AA shell explosions goes up um, number of explosions produced by salvos when our defensive AA fire consumable is active goes up so if you want to do an AA build, which again, uh, I'll discuss shortly, you could take this skill. Um, really, if you're gonna go for an AA build Holland, then I'd say you probably wanna be diving up with a clan mate or a friend who's running a CV, uh, tier eight or tier, well, tier 10, I guess you can't do a tier 10, tier eight div. Um, so that's where I would see this becoming more in handy, or if you just wanna have fun because uh, you have to shoot down planes, and uh, then for a combat mission or something, then I could see this uh, being rather trollish. So if you want an AA build, um, Holland, let me know in the comments how you like it. But for overall, because you, again, you can't guarantee that there's going to be a carrier in every single match, but you can guarantee there's going to be surface ships in the match. So that makes torpedo tubes uh, quite relevant um, when you build into that. So, um, so this is what I'd recommend across the upgrades. Uh, armament, we have AFG, AP, these fast torpedoes that reload quickly. Um, the depth charges, uh, maximum damage 2,000 um, per depth charge. Uh, you get two charges, uh, bombs in a charge, eight. So if you use both charges, you get 16 depth charges. And you really have to get used to how they work here on Holland. 
because they're like the hedgehog um, depth charges, they launch off the front. So most destroyers in the game, they just launch over the rear. Here in Holland, they launch off to the front. So when you're launching them, uh, let's say they land a little bit further past this boat or maybe just close to it. Um, so you have to be mindful of that if you're trying to depth charge uh, a submarine. Um, consumables, damage control party, it's the standard for a destroyer, tech tree destroyer, five second action time, reload time of 38 seconds. The repair party is so invaluable on the Holland. Um, this really, I've gotten a couple dreadnoughts already, I believe, with the repair party here in Holland, um, which I always think is really funny when you get that on a destroyer. Um, but it partially restores the ship's HP by repairing any light damage. So HP per second is 272. If I look at the signals, I run the India Delta. So if I were to take India Delta off, instead of that 272, we're at 227. Um, so even on my healing destroyers or destroyers I can have a repair party on, I run that India Delta combat signal um, just because I want to be able to heal back as much health as possible. Uh, action time 14 seconds, reload time 76 seconds, and we get three charges. Here are the engine boost, which we've been talking about already for a little bit. Um, we have three charges of this. Really helpful getting our maximum speed plus 8% of this number. So. Um, if I were to give you what is the fastest Holland can run, doing math, 39.74 uh, would be, so basically 39.7 is the fastest you're going to be able to get Holland uh, to go unless you take a certain skill, um, which I can talk about. Then you have the defensive A fire consumable, um, continuous damage plus 50%. Damage from shell explosions plus 300%. Uh, you saw in yesterday's video, if you've watched it, uh, the Lexington we had to deal with. Um, he was on our same flank when we were flipping the cap, and we basically annihilated his aircraft because we're an AA destroyer. Um, when you look at our AA rating right now, it's 87, and you can still technically get this higher. Um, and we'll look at that here in a moment when I, when I highlight a AA build. So this is a lot of fun. Very handy in dealing with those pesky CVs, but something like you're never going to prevent a, a strike from a Naki Mulf unless he just eats every single, all of your flak. Um, you're not going to be able to stop a Midway or an FDR, um, but tier 8 CVs, you are going to dominate. You're basically almost a no-fly zone. Almost. Um here at the lower tier, especially when you're able to activate the defensive AA fire. When it's not activated, then those tier 8 CVs can, of course, uh, probably get the, a strike off on you, but they're going to uh, lose a lot of planes in the process of doing so. So the commander, so let's talk about Jerzy Swarovski. Um, he has several talents. Uh, you can pick him up for 175,000 coal in the armory. Um, the two talents he has is the Torpedo Armament Expert and the AA gun expert. Now I think maybe in one of the matches, or maybe it was both, maybe it was just the one, we activated this talent. Um, it reduces the reload time of torpedoes for every eight successful torpedo hits scored on enemy ships. I've done 17 torpedoes before, so you can activate this talent uh, again and again. Um, so having that 5% shaved off that 76.5 second reload time is nice. Then activate a second time, you get 10%. Uh, so then you're taking, um, you know, over seven seconds off. You throw an adrenaline rush, and we'll talk about the adrenaline rush particularly with Jerzy Swarovski. So you can really get that reload time down. I've had it down to 53 seconds in total. So fit the, you know, not torpedoes. You know, 10 torpedoes that go 15 kilometers at 95 knots. They don't do the, uh, a lot of damage. They're, they're weak in terms of tier 10 torpedoes, um, but that reload every 53, 54 seconds. Like, that's hysterical and really fun. A gun experts, uh, when you shoot down 20 hostile aircraft, you get a buff on your continuous AA damage. 
Um, so that is really handy, and that means you're doing that much more damage to CV. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to activate this talent with the Lexington, because after he strike, went to strike me a few times, he gave up and said, screw that, I'm going to go attack other targets. Um, so you have that power as a Holland when you're dealing with tier A CVs. Um, Shwerski also has an enhanced skill, the Adrenaline Rush. Uh, the standard would be negative 0.20%. And then the Katusa A damage plus would be plus 0.20%. But with enhanced skill, we're getting negative 0.25%. So as we take damage, our guns are reloading that much faster. Our torpedoes are reloading that much faster. Um, and then we're getting a buff to our A damage. So this works really well um, with Jurjdi Swarovski, um, tying it to uh, the A and the torpedoes. So uh, definitely recommend running him on Holland. I also run them on Friesland, even though I'm not getting any torpedo perks, because I've kind of built into that here, you see. Um, but I take it because the Friesland has uh, some good AA. You can see 80. So, not as good as Holland, though. All right. Um, so let's talk about the build setup here. So for 10-point commander, you want the bread and butter build with Holland. So that means preventive maintenance, reduces risk of the main turrets, torpedo tubes, steering gears, and engine from becoming incapacitated by negative 30%. You definitely want last stand, three, uh, two point skill. Uh, the ship remains partially able to sustain speed and maneuverability with the engine and steering gears incapacitated. You definitely want survivability experts, uh, HP increase for each ship tier, plus 350. That is what gets us up to this 22,700. Uh, but in terms of tier 10 destroyers, this number is still pretty low. Uh, so you definitely want survivability expert for a four pointer. So being our 10 point uh, here build, you want concealment expert. Um, this is what I recommend you spending your first 10 points on. Um, I think when you pick up Jerzy Swarski, he also he actually has 15 points in the armory. Uh, so that's nice. But this is what you want for a 10 point build. Okay. Then for a 13 point build commander, then I'd recommend picking up the Adrenaline Rush for reasons I just discussed. And then go for the fill the tubes. This gets the torpedo tube reload time down negative 10%, um, which is quite nice. And that's ultimately what helps us get to that 76.5 uh, second reload time on these torpedoes. And then after you've spent these 16 points, um, you, my next two points, I'd recommend investing into Swift Fish. So this is an 18 point build right now that you saw in action, uh, even in Friday's video. Um, this is what helps get us up to that 95 knot speed on the torpedoes. So I would recommend this 10 times over, uh, doing this type of build here. From this point, you probably have some flexibility in what you might want to do. But I'll show you what I would spend my last three points on. So the build I am going for is this one. Uh, we get a buff to our main battery reload time, negative 5%. So now our guns are reloading every 1.9 seconds instead of 2 seconds. Throw in a drill and rush, you can get down to 1.7, maybe even almost 1.6. Um, so that is why one of the reasons why I want to take this skill. But also because Holland is such a good AA destroyer, I want to buff that uh, more so. So that uh, rating um, we had, it's still 87 apparently. I don't know if I have to actually master it. Yeah, so here you see it goes up. It goes from 87 to 90. Um, so our continuous damage now is 394. When we run this, it's 434. Um, so that is being able to not only... Uh, are we giving the guns some love? We're also giving the anti-aircraft guns uh, some love and care <laughs> here on the Holland. Instead of just 100% going for the torpedoes, if you wanted to 100% go for the torpedoes, then uh, you could do liquidator, chances of causing flooding, plus 30%. That would only leave you two skill points left. Uh, and then I'd say probably um, take uh, the priority target skill because that it's just good overall but i'm getting to the point where i don't need it as much as a destroyer player just mindful and that my concealment my gun battery range is 10.5 so i'm not going to be doing this open gun voting um so but if you wanted that full torpedo line then this is good 
but I'm gonna first and foremost recommend this build. Um, another, if I was to say a second option I would consider taking would be Superintendent. Uh, this gives us an additional engine boost, repair party, and defensive A, fire consumable. Um, some of you may be asking, you know, Flimsy, should I take this? Um, it depends on your play style and your survivability in the game. If you are a destroyer player who typically dies in the first half of the battle, <laughs> so let's say, you know, 20 minute battle, say uh, 10 minutes in, you're typically dead by that point, then you're probably not gonna get use out of all of these consumables. If you're a destroyer player who's typically alive the last half of the battle, then superintendent might be more useful for you. Um, I am a destroyer player who's typically alive the last half of the battle, like I've just been working on improving my survivability. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not engaging in the battle the first half, um, but because that last half of the battle as a destroyer player uh, can contribute to your team in huge, huge ways um, and make it really impactful the difference between a loss and a win. Um, so I would recommend running a superintendent in that case, um, but for myself, this would be number one, this would be number uh, two here. Um, another thing you could do is you could, you'd have to give up something. Um, some players like to run their radio location on Hollands, but the six kilometers is fine. There's only, there's only a handful of shores that out detect you. Um, at the tier 10, of course, there's some tier other tier nines and tier eight destroyers you could see that also out detect you. Um, but generally, I have a, I can have a rough idea of where they're at uh, when I'm playing the game. Maybe it's going off last position on the mini map, or as time has elapsed, I would be like, oh, I think he's moving, moving this direction. Um, in yesterday's games, I didn't ever feel like I had any point where I needed radio location, um, just because I was paying attention to what was happening on the mini map. Um, the other thing you could do is the main battery and AA expert. So this gets your main battery firing range up plus 20% and damage from AA shell explosions plus 15%. Um, so that could be something you do. Um, but again, I don't think there's other destroyers. There's enough other destroyers in the game that play the gun, the hybrid gunboat and just gunboat roll better than Holland ever will even if you build full guns in Holland. Um, the torpedoes, I think, and I believe, is what you should mainly be building into uh, here on Holland, um, just because they're so good and hardly any, if I'm not mistaken, is maybe Smallland. I don't know how fast Smallland torpedoes go, but 95 knot torpedoes that reload in just over a minute, I mean, and go 15 kilometers, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you not want to build into that? Um, and I think that... Um, overall has helped contributed to me getting higher damage numbers in a tier 10 destroyer than something like even uh, daring as an example so this is what i recommend um real quickly i want to touch on an aa build um because the uh these are half off i definitely want to take advantage of that so just as for fun and giggles uh we'll go ahead and demount this skill uh, we'll go ahead and pick up the auxiliary armaments. Uh, hopefully I don't rec regret spending that 1.5 million. And we can see what our AA defenses do. So our AA defenses go up to 91. Um, so we were talking about how this contributes to continuous AA damage. So for 53, and it was underneath uh, 400 earlier. Um, I think it's 394. And then damage from AA shell explosions went up to 2,282. <laughs> right and then we're getting more explosions uh, in our flak uh, when the defensive a fire is cons uh, active uh the third um you could take party a sector preparation time but i usually don't find the carriers back that real quick because your cool down cool down time on your party a sector on uh, shores is pretty short so maybe you still run something uh of this nature. And then we stack on this main battery and AA specialist that gets us up to 94. So now we're almost doing 500 uh, continuous damage. And then uh, take the last four points from somewhere and pick up main battery and AA expert because you're going for the AA build. You'd want this at that point. 
Um, and then we're causing even more damage from our shell explosions by plus 15%. So um, let me just do the math on that real quick. I have to clear my calculator, 282, 1.15. You're doing 2,624 uh, damage by shell explosions. So, um, but you're really making yourself an A destroyer at that point, and your rating is probably gonna go 95, 96 after taking this. Um, so it might be fun, especially if you just despise CVs and you just want to shoot them down. But generally, if you're dealing a lot of damage to the aircraft carrier, he'll start avoiding you like that Lexington player, even though he's tier eight, he started avoiding me. So you could do something like that um, here on uh, the Holland if your heart so desires. But I really like the torpedo tubes overall, so. All right, so we've already gone over 35 minutes, so I need to wrap this up. If you liked today's video, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you have already subscribed, I really appreciate it as we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and we will be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway when that point comes. We'll be giving away the USS Kid. Uh, we'll be giving away uh, three prizes of different amounts of doubloons and 30 days of premium. So I really hope you consider helping support the channel because I've enjoyed it and uh, I like sharing these build videos with you. So until next time, take care.